this is Dee from Crystal Crafts with Dee. I am going to do a little whip and chat with you today but I just wanted to show you how I set up my um, diamond painting table. I have a drafting table and I've just set it up again so I thought I might just show you how I work on my diamond paintings that sort of thing in my little setup. So I'm just going to zoom back out again. I'm going to bring you around here and this is my desk and my little setup here. So I've got a drafting table and I've just set it up on a bit of an angle like this. It wasn't very expensive actually. You had to put it together but um, I managed to do it um, in probably two days. Ha! Huh. Uh, but anyway, it works absolutely awesome and I thought, well, I'll show you what I'm working on. So at the moment I have, um, like I've got that uh, pink like grip mat on there and then I'm working on this one here. It's my little light. Let me move him out of the way. And this is my diamond dot squares that I'm working on at the moment and it's upside down. Let's bring it around this way. There you go, so I've got that corner there and up there and I'm starting on that top bit. Um, I sort of work all the way around the edges and around back again. So I work on it sideways, I work on it right side up, I work on it upside down. Um, that's kind of how I roll, but that's coming along really nice and it's actually one of these pre-framed canvases. So I'm working on that one at the moment and over here. Uh, I've got my little um, containers filled with my drills and then up there I've got my bits and pieces and, um, and if you sort of come around this way it's got two little drawers under here and um, I just keep some bit, bits and pieces in there and then over here I've got these are my little drawers that I bought and if I can come in the top drawer I've got like my, um, it's very messy, but I've got all my diamond painting pens uh, there and just a bunch of stuff. And then um, what I've done with, uh, when I get my um, PR packages, I pop them in these little drawers here and they're in alphabetical order. And I think this whole thing cost me like $30, but um, that's kind of, that's DIY digital art. Uh, where are we? GBFKE. So they're all in alphabetical order and I've just got all my drills in there and then the canvases I have separately flattening out. But anyway, that is my little setup. It works really, really well. I had it in my bedroom and I moved it out here into the lounge room. And then I've got this uh, light. It's got a light. I haven't even taken the plastic off. Uh, it's got a light on it and um, I can see like really close up with these drills because um, it is a canvas stretched over MDF you can't use a light pad so I need like the extra light so I can make sure I'm placing the square drills down um, in the right spot so anyway that's what I'm working on at the moment and it's working very well and then I've just finished uh, that one there, which I got from GBFKE, and then um, may as well pan up and show you my other ones. Uh, that one there uh, was one of the first ones that I did, and that one was from Shop Any Deals, and I've got a matching one on the other side. So that's my little setup. So it's working out very, very well. Keeps me busy. Anyway, on to the whip and chat. So I'm going to go set up and um, get ready and then I will join you in just a second. Okay, so I'm all set up. Hopefully the camera won't shake too much because I have this amazing little Frankenstein set up organized for this. So uh, we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Uh, anyway, I thought I could do like a quick little whip and chat of this absolutely gorgeous jewelry box that I got from One Day Saving. And I've been really wanting to get started on this one, but I've just been so flat chat. Anyway, I unboxed this on my channel a little while ago. And got this gorgeous heart design on the top. It is with special drills, special shaped drills. There's the drills there. And um, it's like a zippered case. 
around that. It's like like a cushiony spongy top so that should be interesting to see how that goes when you put drills on it uh, and then inside got this beautiful little jewelry box I thought this was so gorgeous absolutely beautiful so anyway I thought yep today let's do it so I am going to get my drills I got my glasses I've got my diamond painting pen I'll just go through the drills really quick. So you've got some interesting uh, shaped drills there. Some marquees, some little flowers, more marquees, little teardrops. I love that color. Some teeny tiny teardrops, more teeny tiny teardrops, and more teeny tiny teardrops. <laughs> They're not my favorite, but they do look very good. And you've got some beautiful uh, blue um, AB coated drills as well. So I am going to get started. I'll just peel that back. And then we are going to go. Move the drills out of the way. All right, I got my glasses. And hopefully I've got enough light because I had to wait till the end of the day to do this. And um, of course, that cuts in on my light anyway okay so I'm using this dime painting pan today it's one of my favorites and um, for the larger special drills or special shapes uh, I use tweezers it's just easier for me because I am not very well coordinated but anyway so I'll be using that and I'm using my diamond dots wax I use that all the time it's my absolute favorite okay so what should i do next let's do those big ones that say b i think they're the flowers yep they are so that's these guys here oh and i didn't get a tray either that's all right maybe i can oops steal one from up here sorry there we go I'll just use one of these ones. You got these beautiful, um, oh, they got a bit of a, a coating on them. Really pretty drills. All right, now I'm just going to place these. They are letter B, so I'm going to place them with um, my tweezers somehow. I guess it doesn't really matter how you do it or which direction. You only need a few of these. Such a pretty shape too, and I like how the um, like I like how the detail in them is really nice too. They're really pretty. There we go and last but not least, beautiful. So you got plenty left over on that one. I'll pop him back in the bag and then what are we going to do next? Uh, how about we do sevens? Right, that's that one in color seven. Color seven. So you can see on uh, the packet there, hopefully you can see that in the light. Um, it tells me that's color A, color seven, color six. So I will choose, what am I doing? Seven. Yeah, I saw this and I thought, oh, that is so pretty. But actually, I was thinking too, with Christmas and everything, I probably could have um, gotten another one to give to my niece because she would love that. But anyway, there's always next year. These are absolutely gorgeous AB Clear marquees. Really pretty they are. Nice and shiny and sparkly. And I am doing seven, aren't I? have been known to do the wrong color so I'm going to be a little bit unco with this because I'm trying to do it at an angle because you guys need to see what I'm doing but I can't see very well so I'm just going to pop them on there 
Yes, I hope you liked um, seeing how I set up my diamond painting area. I did actually have it in my room and there was plenty of room, but we just did a big major uh, overhaul of my room, my son's room, and the lounge room as well and outside in the backyard. So basically my house is a disaster zone. There's just stuff everywhere and nothing's going away until I go through it and make sure, do we want that? Do we, you know, sell it? Do we, what do we do? Because I'm just tired of stuff everywhere. And um, it kind of works out good too because uh, I have been homeschooling my son for seven years. That's a long time, and we just finished year 12 in December. So um, that was another big major thing for us. And um, I had all his books and all extra resources just in case I was going to use them. And I've just done, oops, a big clear out uh, and make some space now that we're not doing it anymore, but it feels really weird because I'm so used to doing lesson plans, you know, before bed and trying to work out our lessons before I go to work or after I go to work. So it's just, um, it just feels weird. Seven years is a long time. Homeschooling doesn't work for everybody, but it certainly worked for us, thank goodness, because we had no option was the only choice for us we kind of hit rock bottom and that sort of thank goodness I was able to do that but yeah that's all finished yay so we had all that stuff and then we had the extra desk set up for homeschooling and um, so I got rid of that and I moved stuff around my son got a new dresser or chest of drawers for his clothes and moved mine out gave him mine i got my sister's it's just all moving furniture and oh this place is a disaster but i said nope that's it i'll bring my desk out here and um there's more light and i was kind of stuffed in the corner and I was like, nope, time for a change. But now I've just got stuff everywhere. It's all over the floors. It's, oh man, it's everywhere. And then on top of that, I've been redoing my backyard because I have, we've been here three and a half years. It's just a small little unit. So we kind of have to utilize every space and be smart about it but um yeah like outside's kind of been left so my sister came around and we were just organizing all the backyards so it's um that's a disaster as well so everywhere's a disaster here <laughs> but one day i will get it all finished in the meantime i want a diamond paint Uh, yes, much happening at the moment. That's a yucky one. I'll get rid of him. So these drills are looking pretty good. Just hope I'm not shaking the table too much. Oops. So sort of placing them, they're really close to other symbols so I'm just trying to make sure I don't cover up the other symbols right that's all the sevens am I still on camera I'm still on camera right that's it on that one heaps 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 left over right, get the one there I reckon we should do hmm, color six next. I'm sort of skirting around those teeny tiny teardrops. Oi, oi, oi. They look fantastic, but ugh. They flick everywhere. 
All right, and these ones are those really pretty pink teardrops. Oh, isn't that color just gorgeous? Look at the shine and look at the backs on those drills. Really beautiful drills. All righty. Uh, where are we? Six. I love the colors that they're using in this. They're really going very nicely. Yeah, oops. Yeah, so I've just been busy just doing all that and then trying to organize my videos. And um, I think I have my teething problems with my editing fixed up. If not, please let me know because I know things look a little bit different on my end than it does with everyone else. So yes, if I've still got some issues, please tell me because... I want to make sure I get it right and my last problem was just I kept fixing it and it kept defaulting which is very frustrating defaulting back to what it was before and I didn't realize it and then I uploaded it and I'm like oh man what the heck so anyway I think I fixed it fingers crossed so I've been busy busy I've been getting little bits and pieces done I wanted to get that diamond dots uh, square diamond painting started I got I think about five five all up um, because they were marked down to like so cheap and I wanted them for so long and I thought right now is the time to get them and um, I've done two so far and this is my third and they're just going so well I'm really really happy with them but yeah it's just hard when you've got like the first one I did um, the first one had all sort of really dark colors and it made it really hard to sort of see what I was doing I struggled a little bit <clears throat> anyway I got there in the end and of course that was the one I started first <laughs> but yeah they're just gorgeous gorgeous diamond paintings so I'm working on that and I thought just to mix it up I'll do a, a couple of little ones right I think I've got nearly all of them oh no wait wait I've got these guys So I've been busy trying to organize different things. Um, I haven't really done a lot of diamond painting. I've just really felt like cross stitching. So I've been doing quite a bit of cross stitching. Um, I'm going to do a, a cross stitch update pretty quick just to sort of show you what I've been up to. Um, I decided to dig out a really big one. Thankfully, it is a stamped one, um, and I've put it on my new frame, and um, yes, I'm, that's slow going, but I'm getting there, so it's looking awesome, and i got a couple of this to show you as well. I've got a counter cross stitch too, and I've got, um, I'm almost done with another stamped one, so uh, yeah, I've just been kind of, you know how you sort of go through phases? Anyway, that's all the pink. Look how many pinks. That is amazing. They are beautiful drills. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, so I've been kind of, you know, you sort of go through phases and I just felt like cross stitching. But now I'm kind of all enthusiastic because I want to, um, I want to finish this square diamond painting pretty quick because I want to start getting onto my big ones. Um, that have been sitting there for like a year, two years, three years probably. This is the next one I'm doing. A really pretty pink um, marquees. Really, really pretty. That is gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I've had, uh, I went out and I just went to this place that had all these frames. And they were like on special 
and I got them for a really good price but you know I bought them because I thought yeah that would fit this that would fit that but actually they don't and now I've got all these frames sitting around I've been like putting them behind the doors and I thought that's it I'm sick of these frames sitting here so I'm trying to actually oops trying to actually do projects that will fit in those frames so I can get them framed up on the wall and get them you know organized instead of sitting behind the doors gathering dust and spiders I hate spiders so anyway just went through a whole bunch of them and said right these ones will fit I'll work on those next so I will share with you oops I will share with you um, them as I get them finished but I need my desk so I've got to finish this um, Diamond Dots Jaguar one first now is that all the A's oh I missed a couple of sixes I think that's all the A's and again look how many you've got left over heaps all right, I'll do these couple of A, um, what are they? Sixes. Couple of sixes and then uh, I'll tackle those teeny tiny teardrops. There you go, there's one and two. So does anybody else sort of work around the outside of um, your done painting like you work upside down and right side up and sideways and all that I know it's harder to sort of see the symbol sometimes but it's the only way I can kind of work all right now that's super sticky and that's what it looks like with those special shapes so that is looking really really good and look how clear that drill field is and it's no trouble at all placing those drills on that spongy top cover so that looks amazing okay so I'm going to tackle these teeny tiny teardrops and the rest of these drills and then I will uh, come back to you and show you how this turned out all finished rather than holding you on the camera all that time. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I will see you when I'm back. Okay, so I've done all the special shapes there. Didn't they come up really beautiful? Very, very nice. Love all the colors. Looks really good together. So I just have the, um, the one uh, color left which is this one I thought I'll just finish that with you on camera uh, when I place those um, little uh, teeny tiny teardrops um, I ended up using my diamond painting pen anyway um, oh wow that was a noisy car uh, so anyway I'm just going to continue on and I'll just do this couple here and then it's all finished yay coming up so nice and I love how the centers of the flowers are these beautiful blue uh, AB drills. They look so cool. Looks really good. Of course, it was nice and quiet when I was just working off camera. The second I press record, I go roaring up the road. Anyway. Coming along beautifully. The drills are amazing. They're such good quality drills. They're beautiful and clear and uh, very good quality. The backs of them, I didn't find any scratched ones. Um, which, you know, when you get these special shaped drills and that, they usually get a couple that are scratched sort of thing. But these were just fantastic. Very, very good quality. Hopefully I'm not bouncing that camera too much. Yeah, just got a couple there and I'm all done. Oh, nope, got a couple more. It's these two, I think. One and two. 
with everybody? Yes. So the drills I think are beautiful. I love the use of the color. I love the um, how much they've crammed in that little space. There's a lot of drills in there. And they're beautiful and sparkly, really good quality drills. I love the colors. How pretty is that purple? Those teeny tiny chair drops are absolutely gorgeous. I love the use of the shapes of the drills. Although those teeny tiny teardrops are not my favorite, they really do make beautiful petals and flowers. They're very effective and I love how they've used them here. So absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful little project. Really, really lovely. So I love the drills. I love the colors. I love the actual color of, um, of the actual box itself. The zipper works very well, so there's no problems with that. I like how it's got a big zipper tag. You know, I really cannot stand it when you get things that have little tiny zippers. This is a really nice um, zipper tag. So that is just gorgeous. Now this project would uh, make an absolutely fantastic gift, either completed and given that way or uh, giving the whole thing to the person and having them do it themselves it's very easy to do it's really any age uh, it's just really beautiful really effective and what a lovely gift I just love it and like the flocking inside is really nice it's it's really well put together how pretty is that now they did have quite a few different um, designs they had butterflies they had hearts they had all different ones different colors um, and the prices on them were really good prices. So make an ideal gift for somebody that doesn't cost everything. So absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And there was plenty of drills left over. Um, just to show you some of those teeny tiny teardrops. Look how many they give you. And you didn't need hardly any. Heaps left over. Same with these uh, blue ones. Lots and lots left over. So there you go. How pretty is that? That is my gorgeous little jewelry box. Special drill diamond painting project that I got from One Day Saving. I'd like to thank One Day Saving very much for sending this out to me for review. I absolutely love this. I will uh, get a few more actually because I reckon my nieces love these and they can do it themselves if they like. So absolutely gorgeous thank you one day saving and thank you for sitting through my whip and chat um like i said i got quite a few um bits and pieces coming up in the not too distant future so um keep your eyes peeled for those videos that are yet to come uh they're all being worked on at the moment so thank you so much one day saving i will put the um, link to this in the description box below um oh yeah and before i go too um because this is going to be out in the open and in the dust and you're going to be getting your grubby little fingers on it um, I will be sealing it. I do use this um, Mod Podge Super Gloss um, Finish One Coat Varnish. I put that on all of my diamond paintings. Uh, this, this bottle lasts me forever. Um, it's a big bottle. And I use this, it dries clear and um, it's very easy to use. Just dries overnight. Too easy. So there you go. Thank you One Day Saving very much for sending this out to me. And thank you very much for watching my video. And I will catch you next time.